Hi, I'm Kevin Robert, and today we're going to plot complex numbers. Now, this may look like an ordinary coordinate plane, but it's not. Let me label the axes, and you'll see why. We're going to label this one, which we normally call the x-axis, the real axis. And up here, what we normally call the y-axis, we're going to label it the imaginary axis. Now, when we encounter complex numbers, they're usually written in standard form. That is, A plus BI. And we call A the real part of the complex number. And we call the coefficient B the imaginary part of the complex number. Now we're ready to plot some complex numbers. We'll start with a pink one. We're going to plot 2 plus 3i. Now the real part is 2, and the imaginary part is 3. That means we plot this complex number by going over 2 on the real axis and up 3 on the imaginary axis. So this complex number is right there. Let's try another one. We'll do it in green this time. How about negative 3 plus i. Now the real part is negative 3, and the imaginary part is the coefficient 1. So let's go over 3 on the real axis, 1, 2, 3, and up 1 on the imaginary axis. So this complex number is right there. Let's do one more in orange. How about 3i? Now this one looks like it doesn't have a real part, but it does. It's just 0, because we could write this as 0 plus 3i, and then we would see that the real part is 0, and the imaginary part is 3. So we go over 0 on the real axis and up to 3 on the imaginary axis. So this complex number is plotted right there.